Yo, Skinny, did you ever get a chance to meet Mick, Meek Mill and interact with him? I know Meek Mill. I know Meek Mill. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I know Meek, like, from, like, we used to do shit like, it was something called the Blue Horizon in Philly, like, on Broad at Thompson. Meek was in his prom. I was in my prom, I was in my prom around my neighborhood and shit. I had a little movement before my little murder game movement, but I don't mention it because I could have been indicted as a kid. You know what I'm saying? Violence overpowered the rap part of what I was trying to do. And this was when I was just, when I was just a kid. I've been there. You know what I'm saying? One day, one little one little story I remember with me and me and shit. Fat Reese pull up because Fat Reese is Lil Sunny. That's poo poo. That's my that's my dog, Lil Poo Poo. It's Poo Poo, Fat Reese. They and the Black Marauder. The, the Marauder is Poo Poo's. That's Sunny Sun. Poo Poo is my is my always Sunny Sun. The the Marauder is Poo Poo's. Fat Reese cop out. He's skinny. He's skinny. Somebody want to meet you. I don't know, me and Meek don't already stumble across each other before and shit, whatever. I get in the back seat. It's Meek Mill. It's before, like, the real Me Too come out. It's Meek Mill. But in the mix of me, the mix of them coming up and saying somebody want to meet me, I get in the back seat. Fabrice, get out. Fabrice, get out and shoot dice. Fabrice got out and shot dice and shit. And the people got shot dice. Me and Meek Mill in the back seat. I'm only in the back seat of the car because. I'm waiting for this dude to come up. Somebody robbed my stuff, Pop House, and this dude I'm waiting for to come up. He says that I don't want to rob my stuff, Pop Mom House, for seven grand and three ounces of crack cocaine. I'm in the backseat talking to Meek Mill. We talking, we talking. I'm just telling you everything that I'm about to do and what I'm waiting for. You know what I'm saying? He was telling me that he don't really do hold in the wall studio, so we ain't go to the studio on Dover Street that day. We, we talk about some rap shit. But I'm like, no, man, I'm telling him and shit like you talk, I'm talking to him and shit like, you know, man, the nigga just said I ride my, um, my, my, my step pop, my, my, my step pop, um, my mom crazy seven grand and three ounces, I cook house and shit, whatever kids me big. Me keep never get off the car, I'm in the car and shit, but I had my little, had my little two on me, I show him. But anyway, make a long story short, when they give me that, when they give me the bird call that the nigga came up, I get out the car and I knock the nigga out. And I beat the nigga with a bat into the back, bro. And I pulled the joint off. But Meek Mill was sitting in the car. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. That's crazy, man. That's a true story. I'm, you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I just don't I just don't broadcast that kind of shit. You, you understand what I'm saying? No like, facts, man. Facts. I just like, like, motherfuckers know what's going on. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers know what's going on. Motherfuckers know what's going on. The same motherfuckers that Meek Mill rap about, like, if you look at it, with the, like, the best of Meek Mill when he was young and had the fresh t-shirt on, and he'd be like, real niggas like Zai, get down and lay down. Zai died. We got, a, we had a big war going on. Zai died, but Meek wasn't active in that war. I was. The same thing he wrote about, the same thing I wrote about. I talk about Zai and my raps, but they from Birch Street. They my friends. Like I said, that my sworn, my sworn enemies, they shot, they shot Dean, DCR, and Game with shit bag. I rise for them dudes. You, you know what I'm saying? We all got the same ops. Me, Dean. So when a motherfucker like a motherfucker like Meek Mill know that, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Like he know what's going on in reality. It ain't like the whole skinny me thing. It's just like new to him and shit. He know me like I know him. Man. It's just that sometimes you get, sometimes you get just you get promoted by like. I'm on, I'm on abs, I add my man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's why I want to say, Skinny, we need people like the Meek Mills, the Jay Z's, uh, even Kim Kardashian to speak out for, you know, AR Rab, to speak out for you and all the men. Just this unjust treatment, man. And that's why I'm really trying to get this voice out there so we can, you know, Kim Kardashian is doing a lot for music and entertainment right now, man. Meek Mill as well. Yeah, facts, but it's just like, you know, the whole thing that they just gotta, they just can't pick and choose who they wanna support. You feel what I'm saying? They gotta support the people like, who really need it. They, exactly, so it's like that, man. Maybe me could come around to his senses, like, I ain't got nothing bad to say about me, you know, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm like even when motherfuckers be like, going at it in the city, they have people, you gotta stall him out. I look at it like that, like, Stalling my you was wrong for his when he said when he said fuck Ab and all that, but it was pressure on him. You right. understand what I'm saying? So it's just like, all right, that's what pressure made you do. But 
But in reality, it's just like, man, like, all right, cuz got his money. Like, cuz do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? And if she going to fix it, with, and man, too many niggas just against it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, he got a family. Before he got rappers, they just know in the neighborhood in our city. He got family to take care of. He got other friends that came before the rappers that just in the city that came before them. Got, you know what I'm saying, bro? It's just like, I get on a dare tomorrow. The only person I owe, I'm going to make sure if I have book and I come out and, I'm, and I get on, I'm going to hold A down. Even when motherfuckers try to reach out to me, other little rap labels in the city and shit like that, trying to reach out to me and shit. I feel like I owe that to Ab. I just feel like I owe that conversation to Ab. Like, you know, which companies reach out to me. People do reach out to me. It's like I'm a hot commodity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll agree with you, Skinny. I feel, I feel like with what me and AR Rab do, I feel like Nori or Joe Budden or Barstool Sports, they could give us a podcast like one man in, one man out. You know, the first ever podcast with one guy in jail and one guy out. No, no, fat, no, fat, and that'd be a major job. But it's just like motherfuckers got their own way of doing shit. You dig what I'm saying? Like motherfuckers just like you know, motherfuckers like a motherfucker ain't gonna understand this shit in the sad setting until they put in like a predicament, like an AR app is putting. You understand what I'm saying? 